night of jazz at the Victoria Pier in Fort Myers, and the regulars are loving it. But the room's about to heat up a few more degrees as a guest artist from New York sits in on the skins. Some might say that at 67, there ought to be a law against playing the drums with such vigor. Well, don't tell that to Jim Chapin. I, I just got taken by the Benny Goodman Orchestra. I got a chance to, to hear the orchestra that winter, which was 36, 37. I was fascinated by the drummer. I started to play the drums right away and went at it hard. Thank God my mother was in tune with my desires, you know, and said, well, you want to play drums? Tell me, okay, play drums. By now, you may be wondering if Jim is any relation to Harry Chapin, who's considered the finest storyteller the music industry has ever heard. Well, in fact, he is. He's Harry's father. And she happened when the dollars for a two-fifty fair, she said, Harry, keep the chain. At that time, I think it was a good time in 71, uh, and because they didn't... They were looking for, for more meaningful lyrics, and if, any, if, if, there were, if they were looking for meaningful lyrics, then Harry had meaningful lyrics, as you know. Harry Chapin was going it alone long before it became popular for musicians to come to the aid of the underprivileged through benefit concerts such as Live Aid. Harry was, according to his father, a storyteller first, a musician second. And it's not hard to figure out where that came from. And everybody says, uh, oh, Cats in the Cradle, that's about you. Actually, that's the only one he, Harry didn't write, but it was his, his wife, Sandy Chapin's uh, song, uh, poem. And he took it, and it was, the song was criticizing Harry for not being home enough when Josh was, was, was a, a little baby, you know?